Welcome on Ozeki's How to Develop SIP PBX with Ozeki VoIP SDK Tutorial Part 1. In this video, I will show you how to download the SDK and how to make a PBX Visual Studio application. First, we need to search for the SDK, so let's type Ozeki SDK in the search bar. After that, Click on the download page. In this page, we can find the latest version of Ozeki VoIP SDK and we can download it with the download link. To get the SDK, we need to add our name, our email address, and we need to answer the question why do we need? this software. If we finished, click on the OK button. After that we get the download link. Let's click on it. After the download has finished, we can run the Ozeki VoIP SDK file. Click on the Run and the Next button. Please note the folder because we will need it very soon. Click on the next button. And we finished the installation of the SDK. To create a PBX application, we need to open the Microsoft Visual Studio program. Click on the file and the new project. Then we can choose a Visual C Sharp console application and we can change the name of our project. Let's name it, for example, my PBX. Then OK. To achieve the components of the SDK, we need to add it to our references. To make it happen, Let's right click on the references and click on the add references option. We need to browse for the SDK DLL file. We can find it on the space where we install the SDK on. Select the DDL and click on the OK button. After that we can use the components of the VoIP SDK. We need to make a new class for the PBX. Make a right click on the project name, select the add option and finally the class. Change the name of the class and click on the add button. To use the SDK components and methods, we need to add some using lines to the code. These are the ozeki.voip.pbx, the extensions, the phone calls, the SIP and the network. Our class is drive from the PBX base class. Make a string type local address variable and then the constructor. It has three parameters, the local address, the minimum port range and the maximum port range. Our local address will be equal with the parameter local address and then put two lines to the console. The PBS starting and 
what is our local address? If we get this, we need to create an onStart method. First, write to the console the PBX started line. And after that, we have to set the port listening. The parameters are our local address, the port number and the type of the transport which is in this case the UDP. Write another line to the console which is the listen port number. and then call the base.onStart method. We only have two functions left. The first is the unregister received, which has three parameters, the extension, the SIP address, and the expires. Write to the console the username whom we received the register from. The un unregister received function is almost the same. The difference is in the parameters. This function has only one parameter, the extension. Then we finished the coding of our PBX class. Let's make the main method for our program. We need to implement the asaki.network using line first. The main method is very simple. We make a myPBX type variable. It needs our local EP address and the port ranges. We need to call the start and the stop method at the end. Let's run the application. If it works, we need to open our Softphone demo program, which has installed with the SDK. First, we need to add our SIP account. In our source code we didn't add any limitation to handle this information, so I will add some example answers and my local EP address. Now if we click on the register button, the register line will appear in our console application. So as the unregister line if we click on the unregister button. We finished the first video of how to develop SIP PBX with Ozeki VoIP SDK. For more information please visit www.voip-sip-sdk.com and you can contact us at info at voip-sip-sdk.com Please check out the next video of this video series. Thank you for watching.